Good evening. Trying to block a multi-million dollar lawsuit from the victim of the Stanford mm. Chimp attack. The Attorney General files a motion to deny Charlin Nash the right to sue the state for not preventing the attack by not taking Travis the Chimp away from its owner. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis on the scene at the state capitol to explain why the AG says Nash has no case. The state of Connecticut is attempting to slam the door closed in a big legal battle over that chimp attack in Stanford that left a woman horribly disfigured. By now, everyone knows the story of Charlyn Nash, who was attacked and mauled by her friend's chimpanzee three years ago. She has undergone millions in surgery and therapy and is now attempting to sue the state for $150 million. The Attorney General has just filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit with the state claims commissioner. If Mrs. Nash's theory of liability were spread across the board, the state would be quickly bankrupt. Part of her case is based on a memo written by a DEP official just months before the attack, saying that Travis the Chimp was an accident waiting to happen. Public highways across Connecticut, there are accidents waiting to happen. That doesn't mean that the state is liable every time an accident does happen. The fact that a single employee made that uh, suggestion or statement doesn't by itself uh, uh, create liability for the state. In his motion, Jepson says, quote, prior to the attack on her, the claimant herself never contacted any public official to complain about Travis, and that unless an owner voluntarily complied, DEP did not have unilateral authority to seize Travis, close quote. The man who will sit in judgment of this case is the state claims commissioner, J. Paul Vance, Jr., a former president of the Waterbury Board of Aldermen. He was appointed to the job by Governor Malloy last year. He is the son of the well-known state police spokesman, J. Paul Vance, Sr. The first hearing in what's expected to be a long series of legal maneuvers is expected to be scheduled sometime for late next month over at the state capitol complex. In Hartford, Mark Davis, News 8.